Welcome to the British History Series. If you love British history, then you're definitely in the right place. So stick around for today's episode with me, Philippa Lacey Brewell. On the 4th of March 1681, the 36-year-old William Penn was given a royal charter to go and set up a colony in America. With this, Penn became the largest landowner in the world, I believe, with 28 million acres. William Penn was born in 1644 and was brought up in the Church of England. However, as he grew, he, uh, he, just, he had issues with some of the doctrines of the faith and he, he actually discovered Quakerism and converted in 1667. Penn's vision for his colony in North America was to be able to provide somewhere for people to be able to practice their religion as they wanted. Since the 1400s, European explorers had been colonising areas of America. And so this land was deemed to be the property of the English crown and King Charles II granted it to William Penn. But why would Charles II want to gift 28 million acres to William Penn? Well, it was in fact in lieu of a debt which Charles II owed to William's father, Admiral William Penn. Admiral William Penn was owed by the Crown because he had effectively fed, watered and clothed some of the... I don't know if it's the entire or some of the British Navy. And so he was owed a debt. William Penn Jr., if you like, used this as a bargaining uh, tool with Charles II to ask for this land. Sylvania comes from the Latin word for woods and Penn is in honour of William Penn Senior. So the Royal Charter that was granted on the 4th of March 1681 is still housed in Pennsylvania, I believe, in the State Museum. (laughs) 